Why, hello everybody, and welcome to Playframe, and the demo for Beacon Pines. This game is not out yet. Uh, in fact, it's in Kickstarter right now. I believe the Kickstarter runs until March 5th. Uh, <laughs> but I wanted to show off the demo, or I wanted to try the demo. I've not actually played it myself yet, because it sounds really interesting. It's like a cute and creepy adventure game type thing. And it's, it sounds very intriguing, and I'm, I'm all here for it. Uh, I'll link to the Kickstarter down below if you also find this interesting. But uh, let's, uh, let's see what this is about. Dear reader, allow me to introduce you to my book. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its function. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. Without you, there is no story. Chapter 1 Normal isn't what it used to be. Already loving both the art and the vibe here. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the humble welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. Oh. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he is here for a reason. Hey, okay, this is awesome already. <laughs> oh, look at that, that's gorgeous. Look at our little character. It's very good. Hey, Dad. The morning light filtered through the trees onto the gravestone. How are things going? A gentle rustle of the leaves was the only reply. Today's the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. I was six years old when you died. And it's been six years now. From here on out, you'll have been gone for longer than you were here. It feels like that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Me too. Oh, hello. Hey, Luca. Rolo was Luca's closest friend. I knew I'd find you here. Well, after I banged on your door till your grand finally came. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. And after I checked the pond. And climbed up to the treehouse. Then I knew I'd find you here. Rolo finally noticed the fresh flowers on the grave and the tears welling in his friend's eyes. Oh, yeah, right. You and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now that your mom's gone, too. She's not gone. She's just... Not here. Sorry, I meant to say since she went missing. She's going to come back, Rolo. Of course she is. Okay, Dad, see you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. Uh, it's a very small space. Maybe we'll just go this way. This is very cute. Love the music, too. Can I interact with other stuff over here, or, uh... <laughs> Oh, tickle. Uh, okay. Um, huh. We've like gotten that as an item. Wonderful. I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. That charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Darn, this is cute. Hmm. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason why I was looking for you. I was wondering if you would ever get to that. You know the abandoned warehouse by my place? The old Valentine building? Yeah, well, it isn't abandoned. What makes you think that? Get this. Last night, it was glowing. Glowing? Are you sure? 
Kinda. No one's used that building since... Since before the foul harvest? Yeah. Who would even want to poke around that place? We would, Rolo. We would. Wait, 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 wait. It's just a busted old warehouse. What do you expect to find there? Answers. My mom's out here somewhere. Out there somewhere. And it seems like everyone wants to pretend that she's gone for good. You don't have to come, Rolo, if you don't want to. Luca, remember that time I sort of accidentally burned down the chicken coop? And you jumped in and said it was your fault before my paw throttled me? This is a flaming chicken coop sort of deal. I got your back. Thanks, Rolo. Now that I think about it, poking around a decrepit fertilizer warehouse is exactly how I want to spend the first day of summer. <laughs> this is really charming already. What happens if I go in the fields? Ooh. Under the shade of an old straw hat, the scarecrow held a knowing smirk. One of its button eyes had been pecked out by a brash crow, creating the impression of an eternal wink. Unnerving, to say the least. <laughs> Can I... Hold on. Can I... Tickle. Um, tickle? Tickle. No, I cannot. <laughs> I can learn about the Scarecrow, though, and that's pretty good. Hey, Jack. Morning, Jill. Salutations, Dr. Hassenpfeffer III. Cute. Uh, okay. Let's keep wandering. Ooh, nice house. All right, I just have to tell Gran, and then we can head out. What are you going to tell her? I don't know. I'll think of something. If it's all the same to you, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your grand smells kind of funny. Suit yourself. I won't be long. Oh, I love the trees around our house. Darn, this is cute. Um. Sorry, just wandering around. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some of them can be found in this very house. Really? Let me poke around. Um, just some dusty knickknacks. Hmm. Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, and more covered in flowery fabric. That happens. Um, ooh. <laughs> Shades? Wait, what's, what's going on here? Cute. Ooh, ponder, is it? All right. We have another charm. <laughs> Sliding off the chair. This is really cute. I'm liking this already. Gran had already lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. Do, 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 do. I know there's more stuff in here. The drawer was packed with his dad's old baseball card collection. Never got the appeal of collecting things. That will suit you well, Luca. You might actually have money someday. And not spend it on all these things you collect. Oof. Something has gone wrong in there. Oh, in our fridge? Oh dear. A pair of dull scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. Ooh! Junk! Hooray! What do I do with these things? Hmm, shouldn't leave that running. Um. Do, 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 do. Can I go upstairs? Yes. Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Um, what about this one? Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Ooh, hide. Really loving the art in this, in general. Uh, 
Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Ooh, we have a sweater now. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. <laughs> chill. Oh, I love it. Grand's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. What else can I interact with? There's gotta be more. Gran's bed was undisturbed. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. Oh, I just know there's gonna be more around here. Maybe we can go out back. Yeah! Oh my, this is quite exciting indeed. I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. You can use the various charms you've collected to alter events and thus completely rewrite the fate of Beacon Pines. This is no small thing. So step forth, dear reader, and grasp a hold of fate itself. Really? Sounds exciting. Um, I guess let's talk to Gran. Love your hair. A beginner's guide to gardening laid, op laid open on the bench. Um, hello. Hey, Gran. I'm gonna go hang with Rolo for the day. See you later. Hold up now. Where are you and Rolo headed exactly? Oh, nowhere special. The less Gran knew, the better for everyone involved. We were just gonna go... something for the day. Ooh. Ah, gonna go ponder for the day, hide for the day, or chill for the day. I see. Oh, okay, and it's any one of the uh, words with the heart icon could fit in here. Hmm. I don't know if she's going to believe ponder. That's a weird thing for a kid to say. Uh, hide is also somewhat suspicious. Chill is nice and vague. We were just going to go chill for the day. The best lies are built on the truth. You boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. We stick to what we're good at. Well, make sure you're done chilling in time for supper. Easy. Impressive. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. That is the power of charms. A simple word can change the course of history. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. The Chronicle, eh? Uh... Ooh, okay. The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. You can see the turning point which has been revealed. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. This conversation with Gran seems innocent enough, the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. Ooh, that's kind of cool. All right, let's, um... Let's do a take two on that. We were just going to go, let's say, hide for the day. I'm curious to know what the response to that would be. We were just going to go hide for the day. Hide. Traditionally, when one is trying to hide something, they avoid literally using the word hide. Yeah, I guess Rolo bet some other kids that we could beat them at hide and seek. Aren't you a little old for that? It's not like there's much else to do around here. Well, make sure you boys are done playing your little game in time for supper. All's well that ends well. Neat. All right. Well, let's try going down this hide branch now that we've created that. Any other words in here waiting for me? I seek words. Ah, let's just go meet our friend. Rolo. Come on, come on! Woo! <laughs> Dang it, Rolo. 
He's very excited. Welcome to Beacon Pines, everyone. For a town that saw few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. <laughs> oh, look at all these characters. Dang. Big place. Anything down here? No? Okay. Ooh, wait. Hold on. I saw something. Oh, we're just chilling. Okay. <laughs> Enjoying the vibe of a spot. I like it. Hello? Sleeping, I see. Very sleeping. Um, what of you? Come on, Andy, grab his wallet. I'm sorry, Iggy, I can't. Do it or we pound you. Yup. But my mom said, Yeah, but, yeah, but. If I had a nickel for every yeah, but, I'd be the freaking king of nickels. Did you hear that, Tish? King of nickels. <laughs> yup. <laughs> oh, man. Um. I'm just catching my breath a bit. Go on. I'll catch up. I will, but can I? No, I can't. Okay. The beacon beacon. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Mr. Wilder. Morning, Luca. What's the day I have in store for you? I was wondering if you heard any news about... Well, if it's news you want, young lad, then you've come to the right place. Oh, great. Have you heard about something going on at the old fertilizer warehouse? Nope. Oh. Rolo thought he saw some lights there last night. Hmm, Rolo ought to be careful poking around that part of town. The winds of change are blowing, and change is a dangerous animal. Ooh. We got a word. Excellent. Um... Do you have words for me? I seek words. Hey, Miss Nelson. Morning, Luca. Any big plans for the summer? Not really. Heard anything about the old fertilizer warehouse? Any strange happenings? Can't say I have. Either way, a dusty old warehouse is no place for a young boy to, to enjoy his summer. Yeah, I guess not. You'll be safe now. I will, but there's coffee here. Luca could see the morning regulars nestled in their booths at the early bean. Uh, ooh, here's somebody. Miss Hatch could often be found near the fountain, too absorbed in a book to be distracted. The two wandered down the wooded path, unaware of the danger ahead. Oh. Oh, this is getting good. <laughs> uh, wait, I see stairs back here. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, okay. Never mind the stairs. Uh, door? No. You two. Luca, just the fellow I was looking for. Hey, Roxy, what's up? Oh, right. Rendezvous with Roxy. This is an important turning point. The first time where your charms will change the course of fate. And currently, we only have one suitable charm at our disposal. Have no fear. We can always return later using the Chronicle once we find more charms. Well, now I'm just rambling. Where were we? Have you seen my idiot brother today? He skipped out before breakfast. Well, not really, no. Can't say I have. Can't say or won't say. Come on, Roxy, would I lie to you? Luca, wait up! I almost forgot to tell you! Roxy might be lurking around here. This is one of her favorite places to stand around and be useless. Rolo. So we need to make sure she doesn't spot us. Rolo. <laughs> Why are you doing that turning thing with your body? Wait, you're not scared, are you? She's harmless. And stupid. And she's right around that corner, isn't she? <laughs> Don't mind me, just over here lurking uselessly. Oh, hey, sis. Nice weather we're having, huh? I couldn't help but notice you slipped out this morning before breakfast. Wasn't hungry. Also couldn't help but notice your, your morning chores were left unchored. Must have slipped my mind. Thanks for letting me know. Anyway, Luca and I have places to be, so if you don't mind... Oh, I do mind. I'm not going to catch hell again because of you. So either you march yourself home and feed those pigs, or I haul you home myself. Um. Rolo froze as Roxy took a step toward him, cracking her knuckles. Luca knew he had one chance to save his friend from being dragged home. 
In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little... chill. <laughs> Come on, Roxy, it's the first day of summer. The sun's shining and we just want to take it easy. Did it work? Let's leave tomorrow's problems for tomorrow. That's great and all, but Rolo's problems have a way of becoming my problems. And Pa always says, tomorrow's work is best left for yesterday. March, you big oaf. Ah, oh, rats. I expect a full report about the Valentine place. A full report! <laughs> oh, dear. So, Fitz, what are you up to this lovely day? Nope. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> she has no time for our nonsense. Duke Valentine, founder of Beacon Pines. Never underestimate what a great man can do on his own. Duke Valentine. A bit much, if you ask me. Hmm, Nuncreed's Drugstore. A bookshop. It's getting a little more desolate out here. Miss Novak's bookstore was often closed until after lunch. Rummaging through the dusty piles of books was one of Luca's favorite ways to kill time. Luca, my boy, hold up a tick. Oh, hey, Mr. Nuncreed. I was just on my way to... I just sold the last jar of your grandmother's preserves. Can't stock the shelves fast enough, turns out. Hey, that's great, but I'm actually... I guess Juniper will just have to swing by with more of her lovely jam. Uh-huh. Well, don't let this old man slow you down. You just remind her that she still owes me that dance. A promise Gran regretted the second it was made. Will do. She's a fine woman, that Juniper. Yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. A real fine woman. Uh, gotta go. Sweeter than any jam on earth. Bye! Uh, telephone? The phone booth was brand new, part of the town's Beacon Pines re Reborn initiative. It didn't see much use. Well, I like this place. Um, okay, can't go this away. Over here I see bees, though. Oh, can't do anything. That's for the best. Ooh. The path led into a small hollow at the edge of Weep Wood. Okay, no turning back now. Caution. Electrified fence. Is that sign new? The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Okay, so what would Rolo do if he was here? Luca often asked himself what Rolo would do, so that he could rule out that option. I'm definitely not touching that thing. Hmm. How do we sneak through the... Ooh, what's this? A can. Okay. Can I do anything with it? As sparks flew from the fence, the light, the light atop that section shut off. Two bulbs remained. Aha! We're overloading the fence. What else can we throw at it? Is this a can? This... Nope, that's not a can. What else can we throw? I need throwables. Um, this place doesn't seem safe. Throwables? Hello? Wait, I just picked something up. Oh, it's a mushroom. Uh, a yeah? Uh, no, not correct. A yeah? Yeah, there we go. That's two. One more to go. There we go, all right. More throwable mushrooms. Boom! The fence's buzzing gave way to silence. Okay, moment of truth. We're through! Every kid in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Now it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. There was an unnatural light that glowed gently from the windows, throbbing in time with a low mechanical hum. Okay, so Rolo wasn't exaggerating for once. What's going on here? 
There was only one way to find out. Ooh, let's investigate. The trash. Wow, that smells awful. Too bad Rolo's not here. He'd have no problem poking around in there. Eh, what else can we explore? These trees look really cool. Like, foreboding, but cool. The hose emitted a subtle sound. It was actively draining some kind of liquid. Hmm. Can we get in? Locked. Luca thought he heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. A zipper? Footsteps. The sound of footsteps grew louder. Hello? Ah. Um. Shit. <laughs> Alright. We've learned bad words. <laughs> the heavy steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Luca watched his fingernails leave trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door, into the lab, into the green light. Then darkness. This is a story about... Change. Ooh. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself, but it was an all-too-common ending for a denizen of Beacon Pines. The end? Hmm. Luca stumbles into a hazmat worker. Uh, Roxy wants Rolo to go do chores. Or Luca lies to Gran. Okay, we don't have anything new for that, but we do have something new for this, because we learned a bad word. So let's go use it. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little... <laughs> was to be a little shit. Okay. <laughs> Make a break for it! This is madness! Ah! <laughs> Did that little shit just kick me? Run all you want, you little twerps! You gotta come home eventually! Ah! <laughs> Luca, my boy, hold up a tick. Uh, sorry, Mr. Nuncreed, kinda in a hurry right now. <laughs> uh, boy's got too much of his father in him. This is neat! I win! Little help. You touched the fence, didn't you? I am the champion. We were racing? Did that road get longer? Like anything ever changes around here. It seemed longer. You're just lightheaded from the run. You really need to pace yourself better next time. Not sure why I would take advice from second place. Has that sign always been there? Wait, what? Caution, electrified fence. No, that's definitely new. Creepy. How are we going to get around an electric fence? Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> Why did you do that? Pa always says you can figure out what the plan was when you're done. Great, what now? Well, I did my part and established that touching the fence is bad. I'm sure you can handle it from here. I'll supervise. I can't handle it from here. From a safe distance. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I have... I got you covered, bud. There we go. Whoa, you're a genius! Yes, I know. Stand back. Genius at work. There we are. I think that did it. Luca, you never fail to impress. Thank you. Alright, let's see if we can do this better this time, huh? As the glowing windows of the old warehouse came into view, Rolo began to bounce excitedly. Check it out! Dang, Rolo, you weren't exaggerating for once. Was there ever any doubt? This definitely needs investigating. Good thing two crack detectives are on the case. This is crazy. This is awesome! <laughs> Check out this bottle! That's not normal. And this hose! 
Oh man, the door's locked. Try harder. No dice, it won't budge. I'm tempted to prove you wrong, but I wouldn't want to embarrass you. Oh well. This dumpster's new, right? I bet it's got stuff in it. I can't really see what's in here. Who did all this? My nose is itching. I think I smell some treasure. Are you sure that isn't the hazardous waste? Just help me get in. Rolo. It would... Rolo, it would be my honor to throw you in the trash. Come on, Lady Luck. Ah, oh, dang. So, what's in there? Let's see. There's a squishy bag of squish. Wow. Hang on, there's more. A good inch of stagnant sludge. Your natural habitat. Wait, hold the phone. Hold two phones? Check these bad boys out. Oh, you holding two phones. Are those walkie-talkies? Just like Hank Atomic Communicators. Do these actually work? Ground command to Hank Atomic. Hank, do you read me? This is Hank Atomic, ground command. You're coming in five by five. How, um, how are your vital readouts, Hank? It's getting a little stuffy in here. Requesting assistance for evac. Help is on the way. What was that? Someone's coming. Just shut up and give me your hand. I'm trying. Get a better grip. Scoot over. I'm coming in. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, no, it did. Good. Uh, tell me you saw that. Dude, I don't know what I saw. He's coming back. Get down. Uh, that seems bad. The boys were petrified under the weight of the bag. Okay, I'm not waiting to find out what other crud that thing's gonna dump in here today. I think we should make a break for it. Calm down, there's no reason to panic. I'm not panicking! You're panicking! Rolo, calm down. You don't have to keep squeezing my hand so hard. Dude, I am not holding your hand. Quit messing around. What other slime-covered hand would be in here? Ah! 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 <laughs> oh no. I am beginning to see the benefits of your run for your lives plan. Right, we've clearly established that I'm faster than you, so I'll go first. Why not go together? Flaming chicken coop, Luca. I'll make sure the coast is clear. After I go, count to 100. If you hear me yell, run. If you don't hear me yell, run. Actually, either way, haul ass. Rolo? Yeah? I'll give you credit. You sure found an eventful way to start our summer. It's what I do. Well, here goes nothing. Luca sat in the dark, tracking the sound of Rolo's footsteps as he ran. One, two, three. He pressed his ear to the dumpster wall, straining to hear his Rolo's footsteps as they faded away. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. He tried not to think about the contents of the dumpster as he counted. Thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. The thick stench made it hard to breathe. Screw it, that's long enough. Luca carefully lifted the lid and peered out. Nothing. No sign of Rolo? No sign of the man in the yellow suit. Time to haul ass. Luca clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Beacon Pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night, throwing his front door open, storming up the stairs to his room, and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Chapter 2 Dead Ends The next morning it was quieter than usual at the breakfast table. Only the sound of silverware and chewing interrupted the awkward silence. This is a long demo. I finished jarring a mess of jam last night. Uh-huh. So that'll need to get delivered into town today. Okay. So what did you and Rolo get up to yesterday? Oh, um, nothing interesting. Hello? Calm down. 
No, of course it was the right thing to do. Start gathering folks, I'll be right there. Are you sure there isn't anything you want to tell me about yesterday? Anything I want to tell you? Not really, we just sort of ran around a bit. Gran's brow furrowed. She let out a long sigh. Her voice was quiet and even. I have to go take care of something. You are to stay in this house for the day. Under no circumstances are you to leave. What? If I'm not back by dinner, there's stew in the icebox. But... But nothing. You are to stay here, understand? Yeah. Say it. I'll stay here till you get back. Good. Oh, and Luca. You left the icebox open yesterday. We're not made of money, you know. Luca stood in silent shock. Had Gran caught him in a lie? Where could she even be going? Well, that was strange. Hmm. We've been told not to leave, and yet I kind of want to. There, I closed it. <laughs> I can learn. Uh. Could go out back, I guess. Maybe. Anything back here? We gotta check. Uh, no. Seems like no. That's fine. Uh, anything new around here, though? Gotta check. A strange sound buzzed in the air. Is that coming from upstairs? Huh. Okay. Um... Well, let's investigate. I'm not technically leaving the house. Obeying the law. Hello? Is anyone there? Uh... Which room is this coming from? Oh. Ooh! Our walkie-talk! Hello? Uh... Rolo, is that you? Huh. Over? Strange. <laughs> Very. Huh, can I take it with? Luca glanced at the now silent walkie-talkie. He wasn't sure what to think. Uh, what was that? Was that downstairs? I bet that was downstairs. Let's check the door. Let's check all the doors, actually. Uh, nope. Coming! Oh, hey, Roxy. If this is about me, uh, accidentally kicking you yesterday, is Rolo here? No? Look at me, Luca. This is serious. Is Rolo here? No, I haven't seen him since yesterday. Rolo didn't come home last night. What? A pit formed in Luca's stomach. Where was the last place you saw him? Uh, we were playing around in Weep Wood, and then it was late and we went home. Weep Wood? If he's alive, I'm gonna kill that creep. Is there anything else? Anything that he said? Luca's mouth felt dry. No, we were just messing around. Okay. I need to go let people know to check the woods. If you can think of anything else that might help, let me know. Luca could feel his heart beating in his throat. Rolo. I've got to go find him. Oh, we're going on an adventure and leaving the house. We won't tell anybody. Um, this is probably not the right way. Uh, let's go find Rolo. What's this way? I don't think we ever went this direction. The road leading to Beacon Pines was long and uninspiring. A sort of natural barrier for the impatient. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, hello? Oh, that poor boy. Yeah, Rolo's parents said he never came home last night. Oh, that poor sweet boy. And he's not the kind of kid to run away or anything. 
Oh dear, that poor sweet little boy. So if you hear anything, please let them know. Of course, I'll let them know if I hear anything. Hmm. You're still napping. Who else to talk to? You, do you know anything? Rolo. Sorry, my boy, I haven't seen him since yesterday. I'll be sure to keep an eye out. Hmm. You. Have you seen anything while reading? His eyes went wide in disbelief. What do you mean, vanished? That's impossible. Oh my. He doesn't even see the danger he's in. <laughs> uh. Rolo! Can I run? I don't think- nope, I can't. But boy, I do have a whole lot of words now. In my word collection. Hello. Have we met? Of course, why would anything be open in this stupid place? Oh, you're new. I like you. Oh yeah, Miss Novak usually doesn't get in till after lunch. And you are... Uh, Luca Van Horn. Are you new here? Yep, not by choice. Gotcha. I'm looking for my friend Rolo. He didn't come home last night. So he's missing? I guess so. Like, missing, missing? Luca shifted his feet uncomfortably. Does that sort of thing happen a lot around here? I need to just... I need to get some more separation between these voices. They're the same voice. I don't think so. Well, that sucks. Yeah. So I should probably get going. <laughs> hey, wait up. What? I'm coming with you. What? This is the first interesting thing that's happened since I got here. Besides, you look like you could use some help. The name's Beck. Pleasure to meet you, Beck. I suppose I could use some help. Try to keep up. Oh, we have a friend now. We're just two cute friends running around, looking for our third cute friend, who might be dead. The phone booth was brand new. Part of okay, right, we, we read that already. Well, I guess we didn't technically, because we went back in time. And, uh, took a different approach. Hmm. That is new. Dang, they boarded up the way in. Hmm. Maybe this other route, though. Hmm. Uh, is this sort of thing normal around here? Because puddles of glowing ooze are definitely not what I expected from this place. I have no idea what that stuff is. Well, the next obvious step is science. And what does science suggest? Poke it with a stick. Luca watched as Beck dipped a broken tree branch into the goo. Beck's eyes widened as flowers grew from the dead wood. First small buds, which quickly bloomed into vibrant petals. What the? Cool. As quickly as they had grown, the flowers began to shrivel and to turn gray. Beck dropped the stick with a grunt of disgust. Okay, so the science tells us that this gunk is weird as hell. Uh, yeah, it seems dangerous. Oh, hello. Hey, Dish, look what the cat dragged in. Yup. I don't have time for this right now, Iggy. Aw, oh, don't say things like that. It hurts Tish's feelings. Ain't that right, Tish? Yup. <laughs> she looks fine to me. Why, hello. I don't think we have been properly introduced. Iggy's the name. This is my compatriot, Tish. Yup. You probably heard of us. Can't say I have. I'll forgive you this once, on account of you being new around here. Why would you hang out with this dud? Oh, he seems pretty alright. Iggy, why do you have to be so... you? Has he even told you that his parents skipped out on him? Shut up. It's true, they got tired of having such a pathetic kid and left him. Iggy, I'm only gonna say this one time. Don't. Talk. About. My. Family. Ha! <laughs> well, look who's grown a backbone now that a girl's around. First his pops croaked, then his mom finally couldn't take it anymore. Oh dear. Iggy took a step towards Luca, his sneer lit by the glowing puddle. Beck could see tears welling in Luca's eyes, his fists clenched. Some things about Beacon Pines were very different from the city. But a bully from a hayseed town is really no different than a city bully. Beck took a deep breath and thought, Well, time to bust out the... Tickles? Or the strange? I... 
I'm really curious what the strange is going to do. All right, Luca, looks like you need a little mud bath. What's wrong with you, new kid? We're about to pound your friend. Beck stared in silence, the only sign of life being the twitch of an eye. It's weird when people don't talk. Yup. Stop being a weirdo. Uh, hello? Are you some kind of wackadoo? Makes sense. Wackadoos travel in packs, huh? Hey, dud? At the sight of Iggy taunting Beck, something in Luca snapped. Iggy's smirk shifted to a look of shock as Luca launched himself into his stomach. Ah! Oof! Oh boy. Iggy's clothes were drenched in the glowing ooze. You jerk, my clothes are ruined! I'm gonna... Iggy's voice began to slur as he struggled to get up. Struggle? Oh, uh, that's a new one. I don't feel so good. Well, health? Oh shit! I'm sorry, I just... Whoa. Things are escalating. I'm afraid that's the end of this part of the demo. But that doesn't mean there isn't more to discover. Remember, each new charm you found has special power. Just look to the Chronicle. And don't forget to wishlist and follow to find more cool stuff. <laughs> Most importantly, if you enjoyed the demo, please tell your friends. Ah, cool. <laughs> and now I suppose I have told a whole bunch of friends. A lot of you. So, uh, this is super awesome. Uh, and I think that's the demo. I will leave it now. You'll, you can go try it yourself if you want to, just on their Kickstarter page. You can go download the demo yourself for free and try out the same one. And uh, if you want to see if you can find some more uh, outcomes from different words, then by all means, go for it. Uh, again, I believe their Kickstarter goes until March 5th. They have, as of this recording, succeeded in meeting their initial goal. So that's great. They do have some stretch goals uh, still to reach, though, at least, again, as of time of this recording. So uh, if you want to go support this game, uh, then go then uh, go to the link down in the description. I'm going to go do that right now, actually. I think I'm going to go back this. This looks rad and kind of looks like something we might have to play on this channel when it's done. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for something else. Take care and goodbye.